Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. I am just quickly running out to do a few errands, so I figured I would start the vlog here. Um, this morning, not really anything crazy happened. I ended up waking up and deciding to do an aerial yoga class, um, something I have not done in a really long time, but it ended up not being too bad, so that was nice. Um, and then I ended up walking Cooper, and then again, just doing a few things around the house, so nothing that you missed. Um, I'm heading over to UPS now just to return a few things that includes a faucet that I got for the bathroom that we ended up not liking and it was also defective anyways and then a few um, clothes that Andrew bought that he bought to try on and they didn't fit um, so yeah I'm heading out to UPS now I figured why not on the way stop at Starbucks and Target since they are that direction um, Target is not really anywhere near where we live so I don't really go there that much to any um, too much anymore uh, so I figured today I don't have really too much going on for the rest of the evening so why not go out and see what new things they have I'm sure they have some Halloween and fall items so I kind of want to take a peek at that and see if there's anything that I'd like but yeah I just wanted to come on and say hi start the vlog here and see what we get up to today and tomorrow <music> I just got to Target. Before I did that, I went to Starbucks. Um, I ordered the Dragon Refresher, which is something I always get, but I think they accidentally gave me the Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher, which I was also looking at, so I'm not totally mad at it. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's really pink, um, but it's really good. And then I also got a chocolate cake pop. Um, I think I've made a mistake of coming to Target today. I think in our area, um, back to school starts on Thursday. I heard a lot of people at the gym this morning mentioning that today and tomorrow they're going to meet the teachers. Um, so I've just pulled in and there is a ton of cars. So I have a feeling it's going to be really busy, but I guess I'm already here. So we're going to go in and check it out and see if I can find anything. back now um, I went to Target got a few things unfortunately they're missing milk and butter so I ended up stopping at Publix on our way home and I ended up picking also up some flowers to make cute flower vase and then I'm just gonna run through quickly what I got it's kind of boring but I figured I would share since I um, brought you with me as I went out so let me start off with Target so I've been using my reusable bags. Um, I'm trying to make it more of a habit to always use reusable bags. My thing is I'll use them like today. I'll put them in a stack by the door and I will not grab them when I'm on my way out. And I'll literally forget them for like six weeks. So I'm trying to get out of that habit and get into the good habit of always having my reusable bags. So this is what I got from Target. So they actually had a little sale on vinyls. So I picked up two Taylor Swift vinyls. So I picked up Midnight. Um, this is, I think, one of four that you could pick from, but I picked this one. Then I also picked up Folklore album as well. This is like one of my all-time favorite albums, this one as well as Evermore. Um, they didn't have Evermore, but I obviously wanted to pick up this one as well as Midnight. So I got those two. I don't know why vinyls are so expensive. But they are. There was some there for like $50, $60. Then I went into the card section and picked up some cards for some occasions that are happening and coming up, like birthdays. 
Um, we have someone who just got engaged, so I got them just a funny little engagement card. Um, and then just a few birthday cards like these two. Obviously this one's quite funny. This is probably the one way you'll still get carded or something like that. That was me trying to read it backwards. Um, but yeah, got these cards and then also um, we're expecting a nephew in a few months. So I just picked up a cute little card for when that happens. Um, toothpaste, yay, fun, exciting. <laughs> Um, hooks for the door in the bathroom upstairs. I think I decided that I actually don't want to put hooks that you can see from the mirror on that wall where we did the tongue and groove. I kind of want everything to be hidden and maybe just put some art on that wall. I think hanging up towels looks like not nice unless you do it in an aesthetically pleasing way, um, which I don't really plan on doing. So I just grabbed two hooks that I can put on the back of the door and then when we have guests, they can just hook their towels back there. So hopefully these work, they're heavy duty. So hopefully they work. Um, then I picked up some gold shower curtain rings. I already picked up some from Amazon, but I'm not sure if they're the ones that I like to use. Um, our curtains that I ordered are coming tomorrow. I tried or I picked a few different shower curtains to look at in person. They're all linen, but I wasn't really sure what color to go for based on like the wallpaper and everything. So I just picked up some simple gold ones and then I'll show you the other gold ones that I already have later. All right, I'm back. My memory card just died, so I had to go upstairs and grab another one. Um, but I picked up an eyebrow pencil, Ooh, upside down. Um, they have the Ulta Beauty section in Target now. So they have Ulta Beauty obviously and then all the other brands that they provide in that store. So that's really fun and easy and convenient. Then I picked up another facial roller. I have one of these. I have no idea where it went. I know it was kind of broken. This little piece would always fall off. So I don't know if I like subconsciously threw it away and now I have no idea where I put it, but I ended up picking up another one because um, I use this nightly. And then that's it from Target. From, flat, from Publix, like I said, I picked up flowers, which I'll show you putting those in. And then I just got um, some chips from Publix along with our favorite bread. If you are living in Florida or anywhere where there's a Publix, you must try this bread. It is so good. They bake it every day, fresh. Um, if it's not sliced for you, they'll slice it for you there. Um, but this is the white mountain bread. Yes, it is four dollars I feel like bread is just super expensive nowadays, but it's so good I actually freeze it and it lasts me a really long time and it still tastes fresh when I Toast it. So that's our bread. Then I picked up. I couldn't not pick it up even though it's still summer I picked up a pumpkin spice coffee creamer. This was the last of the buns that I could pick up so I picked this one up. Um, hopefully it's good. The other day, actually, is the peppermint mocha flavor. And it's like not even Christmas yet, but they must be just trialing it or something like that to see what people's reactions. And it's actually really, really good. So I'm almost done with this one. So I figured why not get into the spirit and try pumpkin spice. Then I just picked up obviously just some regular milk for our coffees to mix with the creamer. And then my favorite butter of all time, which is the country crock plant butter with olive oil. Um, and then a cucumber, cause I'm gonna make a snack in a minute with um, some chili peppers and everything. And then this Dean's Ranch, which I tried at a friend's house a few weeks ago with chips. And I have never seen it in the store before and I saw it and I was like, I have to buy it. It's probably disgusting in terms of what's in the ingredient section, but it was so good when I tried it. So I figured I'd pick that up with some chips. And that's it. That's all I purchased today. Um, it's almost actually five o'clock, so I wasn't out for too long. Um, but now I'm gonna put everything away, make my flower arrangement, um, and then maybe start dinner or something before Cooper for Andrew comes home and then maybe give Cooper a walk after dinner. So I'll catch up with you guys later.
It's now the next day. Um, I've just gotten ready for the day. Um, just clipped my hair up in a clip because I'm heading to work in a little bit. But before I head out, I was gonna just do a few things around the house. I wanted to show you what we've done in the bathroom. Uh, so I mentioned yesterday about getting some hooks just to go on to the back of the door. Uh, so I did end up putting those up and they look pretty good. And then I've just put a towel on just to see how it sits, which I think is a pretty good height. Um, so I just have two of those. Like I said, this bathroom, honestly, I use to take baths in. But then other than that, unless you have guests over, it's not really utilized. So that's why I really didn't want to have um, like a hook or rail for show on here. And then also when you're looking in the mirror, I really didn't want that to be the background. Um, I'm thinking of maybe putting some simple artwork up there. I'm not really sure. I think we'll make that decision once the wallpaper is up just to see how busy it is and see if it'll be a little bit too much adding artwork. Um, but yeah, and then I also got in the mail our towel rail, which is a brushed gold. So I'm gonna put that up in a minute because it's super easy to put up. And then also we got our toilet roll holder. So there is another one of these pieces on the other side. Once it's screwed in, it's really easy just to lift up, put a new roll on, and then close it. So I got these. I have ordered a few different faucets for the bathroom. I've now ordered my third one. Um, depending on what brand it is, brushed gold um, is always different. The last few that I've gotten have been really, really yellow. Um, actually, I have one here. So this one is from Time Arrow. It's just an order that I did on Amazon. This one is super yellow. I don't have the original one that I ordered because I ended up returning that yesterday when I went to UTS. But I do have this one and I liked the way that it looked, but you can already tell how yellow that is compared to like this. Hopefully the camera is picking up the different color. Um, but I like that it's it's modern, but it's still like super simple. I think it'll work well in the bathroom. So I've ordered another one that's quite similar to this. Hopefully it'll be more of this color just because I don't want a bunch of different golds in this bathroom. Um, the gold that's on the handles on the bathroom cabinets match this one more than this one so i want them to be able to play off of each other and then i would say the only different gold that we have that won't match but i don't think it's too much of a big deal is this gold hook that i put up the other day it's really pretty i got it from anthropology it's really delicate um and i put this up so when i put up the shower curtain which hopefully is arriving today uh, I can throw it back when I'm taking a bath and then it's not so much in the way. Right now, I'm actually just hooking it over the toilet while I take a bath. So I think it looked really pretty kind of pulled back and then tucked under, over this hook. So hopefully that works out. Um, what else? I also mentioned yesterday that I picked these up from Target. These are the original ones that I picked up from Amazon. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in the packaging. But again, they're really yellowy gold. Not really the look that I'm going for. I kind of want it to be quite simple. Um, and then with the shower curtain being linen, you know, I really don't want the shower curtain to be the focus of the room. So that's why I went with these. Hopefully they look good. I think the shower rod is coming today as well as the curtain. So I can pick them, um, put them up and see what they look like. I think these are gonna probably be the winner, but we'll see. Um, what else is new? Oh, yes, I put up the mirror the other day, or me and Andrew put up the mirror today. Let me see, let me turn you around. So this is the mirror. Obviously, these lights are gonna go. Um, I'm shopping around for lights right now. I think, again, I'm gonna wait until we have the wallpaper up. That way I can really decide, you know, do I want a light that's gonna really pop? or something that's not necessarily gonna be the focal point. But I really love this mirror. It does look quite small in this space, but I think once the wallpaper is up, let me turn the light on. Now it's too orange. Once the wallpaper is up and everything, I think it's gonna look really lovely. And then it goes really well with our baskets. And then these little mushrooms, I got these from Anthropology as well. And those were in our bedroom. And I just put them in here just to kind of see 
how it would look on the shelves. Obviously, I want to reorganize them a little bit, probably take down those plants or just change the pots. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking. It's a little bit messy, but obviously the granite is going to change and be a white granite. And then once we have all the gold hardware, I think it'll look really pretty. That's it for the bathroom, I think. I organized my little basket. So I ended up putting in here another basket with all the bath bombs just because they're quite powdery and they were dropping onto the towels that are on the bottom. So I added the basket, just kind of reorganized, refilled my Espen salt jar, and then we have the little green stool. I'm gonna go ahead and change the towel holder and the toilet roll holder. That way it's up and I can kind of see how it's all gonna look. this project yesterday but then I ended up obviously going to work like I mentioned and then when I came home I had a friend call and we ended up catching up for almost two hours so by that time it was already getting dark and I just didn't feel like doing this so today I've been to work and everything um, as you would have seen I just put up the shower rod and I put up the liner just to see how the new hooks that I purchased would sit now I'm gonna try on the shower curtains. I kind of already know which one I think is gonna work. And that would be this blue one, just because I don't know if it's gonna really show the true color on the camera, but only because it has this color actually in the wallpaper. Here. So it actually has those blues, as you can see. And I think that it matches the wallpaper really nicely I'll, and then it's still like a neutral subtle color that it's not going to really overwhelm the room and feel like it's a focus point um other than this color i did pick up this one which i thought was going to be a bit more orange on the camera it does look quite orange but in person it is a lot more faded um so i'm not sure if i'm even going to try to put this up i did pick this one up because of the orange that's in the wallpaper but again, I just don't think, I don't think this camera's gonna show you, but I just don't think that it's really working. And then obviously I just picked up a neutral color. So this is just like a beigey cream color, but I feel like it's too much like the wall. So I think out of all of them, it's gonna be the blue. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. put that up first. And then I think I'll probably have my decision made. <laughs> So this is the curtain up. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with this one and not put the other two up. It obviously doesn't look as blue on the camera as it does in person, and I think that's just the lighting and the time of day. Um, but I do think that it works really well. Let me get a little closer. I do think it works really well with the wallpaper and then obviously the paint that we just put on the walls. 
And then I think once the whole room is wallpapered, we have the new countertop, I think everything will look really nice together. Obviously it's a little crinkled, so I'm going to probably steam it. And then I think also if I just like run and take a shower in here or take a bath, that would probably also help. So that is the shower curtain I'm gonna go with. I did think I was gonna have to go through all three to figure out which one that I wanted. So that was way easier than I expected. So I'm gonna return these two to West Elm. Um, that is it for today. I really don't think I'm gonna be doing much else. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next week for another one. Bye.